Let's get it. Let's get a custom portal for our custom dimension. Let's see how to do that. All right, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom portal for our custom dimension. Really cool stuff. And how are we going to add it? Well, we're going to use, once again, the custom portal API right here from Cryptonaut. Absolutely great API to use. And it's really freaking easy to use. So you can already see some examples right here. It, the usage is absolutely, I mean, it really is amazing. You can see we pretty much just need something like this. And then we have our custom portal. So the only thing that we need is this Maven right here. So we're just going to copy this over, go to IntelliJ to our build.gradle file, and we're basically going to add it right there. So this has to happen in the repositories. So under our Gecolib repository reference right here, we just have the Cryptonaut dev right here. And then switching back to a GitHub right here. So you can see we have to get the custom portal version right here from this. So we can copy this over as well. Let's go back to our build.gradle file once again. And then what we can do is we can just implement it right here. Here. So under dependencies, we want to add this as well. To get the version, we can basically just copy the version name right here. So it's going to be 0.01-beta50-118. That's pretty much it. So we can just go into our Gradle file and then just change it. So it's going to be 0.01-beta50-118. And then we want the same thing right here. There you go. And that should pretty much be all that we need. Right, after having added this, we want to press the Load Gradle Changes button. If this does not appear, you can open the Gradle tab right here and click this button to reload all Gradle projects. We're then just going to have to have this build. This, once again, can take, you know, anything from like 20 seconds to maybe a minute or so, depending on both your PC speed as well as your internet speed. Now, you can see, it took 15 seconds for me. Everything is working fine. So that's always a good sign. Now, what we need to do is we need to actually build our portal. So where are we going to do this? Well, we're going to go into our dimensions package, model dimensions once again, and we're just going to do this in the register method. So how does this work? Well, we just call custom portal builder right here. So you can see the API is successfully imported. Actually, when we want the builder, not the block dot begin portal. And then we can just, you know, with a normal builder pattern, basically we'll add this portal. So the first thing we want to add is a particular frame block. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, how about blocks dot glowstone? Why not? Not glow lichen, but glowstone. That seems a bit better. Then we want to define the actual dimension. So this is going to be the identifier of this. So this is going to be kg dim dimension dot get value. Then we can supply a tint color right here. So we can say, for example, something like, ah, let's do 45, 79, 195. So something like that. You can basically do RGB values. And then we can say with what you want to light this with. So you can see light with item, light with fluid. So we can specify a particular item. So what items start, let's say, for example, the, how about the staff, the mithril staff? Exactly. There you go. This one. And then we can say only light in overworld. Why not? And you can see there are also different ways that you can do flat portal. You can have a custom portal block. Actually, you can add certain sounds right here. You can even say, hey, this is, you know, a return dimension. You can also define and you can also force the size. But in the end, what we want to do is we just want to call the register portal method right here. And that is it. Now our custom portal is done and it will immediately work. That's literally all that we need to do. And you can add, of course, multiple portals for either the same dimension or different dimensions or would work totally fine. That's really cool. And this is why the custom portal API is extremely useful. All right now, let's go into the game and see if it works. All right. So we find ourselves in Minecraft. So let's just use some glowstone and uh, the portal size can actually be whatever you want. So I can make it as big or as wide and tall as possible or as I want. Basically, so let's just use this. Our custom item that we've defined was the Mithril Staff, so we can right click and there we go. Now we have a custom portal and if we enter into it, we're going to be transported right here. And that is exactly into our tutorial mod dimension. Really freaking awesome. And just the addition of the custom portal, I mean, it's just going to make your, you know, custom dimension that much cooler. We can also go back and then we are back exactly where we started. So that's how easy it is to add some custom portals to Minecraft. Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate your like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. Many thanks also to my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. So, yeah.